wait till he gets out in the open here. Oh yeah, we just smoked him. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Risky here. Welcome back to another episode of Call of the Wild. Today, we are back out here on the brand new Quattro Colinas. Gonna be hunting for some trophies. Hopefully, we can get ourselves some diamond ibex species. So we got some Basit ibex over here, and then over the hill, just past them, I had a uh, one of those. Uh, what do they call it? A mouflon sheep. One of those mouflon sheep's call. So hopefully. We can possibly get one of those guys down today. I have not shot one of those yet. And if this guy goes to trot again, I would like to get him down. That should be a pretty solid hit there. Maybe double lung. I love this new gun. It's really satisfying to shoot. It sounds pretty cool. And there's another level four there. All right, let's grab our Basi Ibex here. Gold, he is an 817. I just, I love the horns, dude. They look so awesome. I want to get a diamond one of these so bad. I'm going to I'm gonna go after one. We got 0% consecutive harvest. I'm going to say it again because in my diamond and rare montage from a couple of days ago, everyone was saying about like consecutive harvest. Uh, like, oh, your animal could have scored higher. Consecutive harvest no longer matters for score. It only affects the amount of money and XP you get from an animal. So don't worry about your consecutive harvest anymore. Just throwing it out there for those of you that don't know. And we might be able to get one of these guys down. It says they're fleeing, but I don't know. All right, well... I'm going to shut up now and hopefully try and get one of these sheep down. Alright, looks like we got some sheep. I keep wanting to say bighorn sheep down here, but that's not what these are. These are mouflon sheep. Risky. Knock that in your head, man. Ow. Shit. Just like last one of my last videos, I accidentally called them freaking uh, the black buck mule deer, or the black buck black tail. Everyone was like, oh, it's black tail, not black buck. Or it's black buck, not black tail. See, I can't even freaking remember. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. But let's see if we can get one of these things down, man. Ooh, that looked like maybe a little bit far back there. Yeah, there's some weird audio issues too when you're like walking. I, I, I feel like I hear footsteps right beside me, but it's it's not right beside me. I don't know what the heck it is. It's weird. Some kind of bug, I guess. Can you use the 6.5 on the sheep? Am I am I doing something wrong here? I don't know. I guess we gotta go find out because I'm sure I hit that one. There's no way I missed. All right, we got this guy right here. Oh shit. I... Alright, there's actually a sheep right here. I think that's one I already shot. And it looks like he's down. Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think this is the one that we shot just a second ago. I can't really tell. Uh, it is. Oh no, I just took a shot at him and I missed. I probably included that in the video. Damn, I'm just screwing this all up. I cannot hit nothing today. None no, of no, them. No, no. Anyways, we'll take a look at those horns. Very nice. Check out the true score. They're just a little bit different. Got the nice 19 inch spread. I'm assuming that's measuring from here to here. I'm not too sure though. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's, uh, I just had a call. Where is that? Oh, down there, I guess. All right, well, we'll see if we can find anything else. And hopefully I can start making better shots. I'm going to start taking my time here. I know I'm kind of rushing a little bit. I gotta nail it in my head. Take your freaking time. Looks like we got one down here. We're up here on this cliff. If we can get a shot on him. That'd be cool. It's just a little level three. It doesn't look huge or anything. But this is an awesome cliff. You can just come up here. Honestly, I might put a tent up here. That way I can spawn here and I can look over this whole area. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I can't see with that freaking glare. Oh, it's some uh, Basit Ibex over there. Come on, give me a shot, buddy. Right there. There you go. Looks like he's going to flop his way down the hill, and so am I. Oh, my word. Better make sure you're carrying your freaking... Oh. Hey, at least I can claim it still. All right. Well, he's a double lung, or a double lung shot. Held integrity. What is going on? Okay. <laughs> uh, nice. Just another small one. I just wanted to shoot it just to make sure you can get integrity because that last one we shot twice and we didn't have integrity, but I wanted to make sure that you can actually use a 6.5 on them. Sorry, I keep burping. Well, we'll stop shooting these small ones and actually try and find some bigger sheep and Ibex. All right, guys, we got a Grados Ibex coming at me right now. It's a level four, so oh, that's a good angle right there too, buddy. Oh, damn it. Of course, he's going to go up the hill to where I can't see him. What is he doing? Oh, is he climbing? He go have stand here. Come on, aim down a sight, you stupid asshole. What is he doing? Oh, there we go. 
There we go. I think that was a good shot. It's so hard to get the right angle on them because they're just over there glitching out. Is that a bird just flying from the sky or something? What the hell was that? Like I was saying, it's hard to get a good angle on them because they're over there just jumping in circles and boo, boo. Whoa, why do I feel like I'm jumping so high? Am I an Ibex? <laughs> what the f... Alright. <clears throat> what the hell is going on here? This game is it's something else. I love it. I love it to death. But it's something else, let me tell you. Someday, this thing will float in here and we can actually get it. This is just... It, it fucking... It flew from over there. Up. And then into the water. Do these things have new advanced catapult technology or something? Boys, we might have to go back to Leighton, man. These guys are too advanced for us. No, I'm kidding. Alright, well, oddly enough, let's go ahead and grab our thing here. Didn't make a good shot. Just... Dang. It's just so weird. It's so weird. Let's see if we can find anything else, and hopefully it's not broken. Alright, guys, so we're over here at another part of the map. We are hunting some southeastern out Ibex right now. And there's a white one right there, and I'm almost certain it's an albino, but I'm not too sure. So, pop him right there. Absolutely dropped him. There's a bunch of mouflon sheep over here as well. I was hoping maybe we could find a nice one of those. There's not really any big southeastern Ibex over here. I'm just going to call them Spanish Ibex. Alright, well, let's grab this guy. I think he's albino. Maybe. Is he? Yep, albino. Or it's a she, actually. She's a gold 858. Sweet. Now we have a melanistic ibex and a albino ibex in the lodge. That's so cool. Nice, man. I'm really happy with that. I'm getting pretty lucky with the rares for these little uh, ibex species. Now I just need a couple diamonds. <laughs> have you guys killed any diamonds yet? If so, if you are not in my Discord server, make sure you go ahead and join that. There's a little thing in the description of this video that uh, will show you like a little invite code thingy and you can go in there and just punch that in and you'll be able to join the discord and I have a little share your trophies uh, channel or whatever in there in the discord that you can just share me you can share with everyone all your diamonds and your rares and stuff and I would love to see some of your guys' trophies from this new map and hey we got a red deer right here alright guys so just over here we got a pretty decent looking level 4 wild boar and I haven't shot a wild boar in a long time uh, I don't know if the 6.5 holds integrity on these things. I guess we're going to go ahead and find out for ourselves. If it doesn't, then that's fine. I just had a track for a uh, female Iberian wolf. It was a melanistic. I'm not really too worried about it because from what I know at the moment, rares, well, right now they're basically common. The rares aren't so rare right now. Uh, a lot of you guys in my Discord that have so far put some stuff in there because there's a few of you guys that uh, have some albino wolves and you know stuff like that and I've gotten a couple rares myself and I've only been playing for like four or five hours now total on this map um, and I've gotten like two melanistics an albino and stuff like that so I think they're kind of bugged but uh, a nice yeah we do hold integrity too so nice nice pig there I'm thinking soon we're gonna be getting true tusks so hopefully that's a thing soon that would look really cool if they look they stick out really really far like they do in the Hunter Classic, because they look really good on the Hunter Classic. But anyways, I'm heading down to this lake here. I basically, this is all I've all I've explored right now. I haven't been on this side of the map at all. Still got quite a few outposts to collect, but uh, there's a lot of outposts on this map. Basically anywhere at the end of any of these roads. Just a quick tip for you guys. Like, there's probably an outpost there. There's probably one there, there. Uh, there's a bunch of outposts on this map, which is really good because this map is absolutely massive. Alright guys, remember that track I just told you about? I think it just led to that. Hell yeah. Let's wait till he gets out in the open here. Oh yeah. We just smoked him. I think that was a, uh, a level 5 Spanish Ibex. Let's go. Let's go see if we can grab him. Should be down over here. We got. We had to admit a, bit, a good shot on that. I looked a little far back. but Oh no, he's down right there. Oh sweet. Let's go. This might be our first diamond. Please be a diamond. That would be so freaking cool. All right, let's go ahead and grab him, boys. And he's a diamond. Our first diamond here on Quattro Colinas. A 974 Southeastern Spanish Ibex. Let's go. That's awesome. Man, I'm so happy about that. What a beauty, too. Let's go ahead and check our true score on that. So the horn length 
on the left is 20.33 on the right is 20.35 the overall spread is 17 inches so i'm assuming that's from here to here i've never measured horns in real life any because i've never shot a horned animal i've only shot an antlered uh, so circumference around the left is 13.44 and they're both symmetrical awesome so i'm assuming that's measured in like inches or something i don't really know very cool man let's go ahead and stick him in the lodge we got two awesome trophies today i'm very happy with how that hunt turned out and what a good way to end this video so let's head over to the lodge and stick these guys on the wall all right so for now we're going to be sticking our ibex right here uh, i'm definitely going to be changing them around for now uh you know at some point but let's stick our female 858 and uh someone just commented actually on my recent video, my first hunt on Quatracolinus, that all the Ibex species, if you do find a level four female, they can potentially be a diamond. So be on the lookout for that. And you see this one, I think this one was a level three and she's an 858. Wait a minute, what? Uh, it says she's albino. All right then, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess that is a bugged albino. All right, well, Southeastern Ibex 974. Let's stick him on the wall. Oh, that's a beauty there. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess our, I don't know, is it just like bugged or something right now? Yeah, that's a bugged albino. Well, I guess it's not actually an albino. Well, that sucks. All right, well, there's our diamond 974 scoring Southeastern Spanish Ibex. And then here's our, our demon goat right here. Really cool looking. Check out those horns, bro. That's so cool. Well, that's going to be it for this hunt, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Stay tuned for more videos this week. I'm going to be doing a lot of freaking hunt on this map and probably going to be doing the missions here soon. Doing like a little uh, let's play of the missions. So stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a bunch. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.